Hi, welcome back to HANA Developer Channel. My name is Srikant. In my previous video, I've shown you how to install Access Advanced Server on my personal computer using Google Cloud Platform, VM Weather, VM Virtual Machine Weather. Also, I've shown you how to set up Web IDE for HANA application. In this video, I'm going to show you a small workshop on creating database objects like CDS views, a simple calculation views on top of those CDS tables and then display data on those objects. Let's log on to Web ID for HANA. Here I got my Web ID for HANA login page. I provide my credentials and then log on. I'm in uh, Web ID for HANA now. I got two prospectives here. It's a development prospective and this is database explorer prospective. I'm going to do all my developments in dev and development work spec perspective. Got a workspace here. Um, it's nothing in, the, this is a new system. So I'm going to start my project here. I'm going to start building my objects in this project. So I, I create my project as a template and the available templates at this moment from Ex Express Edition is multi-target application, pro just this one. So I'm going to use this one. My project name, I can give any name and I see the description also I can give the same and I choose my development workspace then next finish okay I got my project here and there is a default YAML file uh, which I can configure uh, if I wanted to do some customization to this pro project not going to do, um, make any changes for the YAML file. So I'm in my project and I create uh, a database module for my, I can create different modules. So you can see from this screen, a uh, basic HTML5 module, Node.js module for server-side scripting and uh, and for UI5 module and etc. So for this uh, video, I'm doing the database module. So I'm going in there and then just giving the module name HXE. Uh, this is the schema which is going to be created in uh, in the database. I can use um, HXE. And then I choose the database version uh, hanadu.osp02. I can choose build model after creation or I can build uh, the model later. Let's see, okay. And then say finish. My database uh, module has been created. Uh, I can see a source folder. All my developments going to be in this source folder. So once I create my project, I can uh, right click and say build so that it, 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 it runs in the background and deploys my project into the database. So you can see the log in the bottom. Uh, the process has been started for building or deployment of this project. And I can, I can see that this project build has been completed. And then I'm going into my source folder and uh, start doing my developments. I got options to create all these objects. So I'm going to start with a CDS artifact. Uh, I'll create a sales order CDS artifact. So I'm just giving the name as sales. I'm not sure there are several contexts available. Uh, I'm, I don't want any um, any of the predefined template to start with. I'm going with empty context and say create. This is a graphical editor uh, which is available for creating CDS artifacts. Um, uh, this is only available in Web ID for HANA, not in the studio or the previous versions of HANA. So I can see that uh, there are several op options available to define my CDS document. So I got uh, CDS entity and context and structure, scalar type and my database view. So I'm going to create a table. I'm clicking on the, the uh, Entity and then dragging here. I'm going to name this as sales order orders. 
this is the table name and I'm going to define the fields for this table. You can say order ID. Take my product, take order date, which is a local date. We got a measure, which is going to be decimal. Also define my primary key for this table, which is going to be my order ID. That's it. I'm. I am in into the document homepage. I'm going to create another table. I'll do the same thing and drag in into the document page and give the name as customer. So I maintain the columns for this table. Just the name. And give the country, and then finally I have um, status. So I define my primary key as customer, and then I go back to the main page. I'm just checking. Yep. I'm just making sure the two okay I got my two tables defined here and I'm going to start building these objects into the database I go build select files the builder has been started and it's going to deploy it's been completed. So in order to see my database objects, I go to the database explorer. So currently, I don't have a database added. I, it's asking me to add it. Yes, I got add it. I have the option to choose uh, uh, several workspaces, uh, and this is my workspace. And how do I want it to display this workspace? I can define here. I can say HDB. So this is my database. I can see the tables, all the tables which are deployed in. Yeah, I can see my tables here. This is the structure of my table for customer, and this is the structure of my table um, sales orders. You can see that schema is created as HXC my name underscore one. This is the name I've given when I'm defining my project in the uh, in the workspace. Okay. Now I'm going back to the de development workspace and I'm going to build my simple calculation view here. So same path, I'm going to choose create new calculation view. I'm going to uh, name it sales order CV. Um, the name is same. It's going to be Q. I, the same options available here as well. I got default cube and dimension. I'm choosing the cube, and I say okay. I switched my default uh, node to projection, and I can start my calculation view building. So you can see uh, this is the node used for join and this is this is for the pro projection and this is for uh, aggregation and rank and got some new nodes you can see from the screen it's a uh, it's a create minus create intersect graph and we got 
table functions for scripting and etc. We're going to see all the new ones in the later videos. In the later videos, uh, yeah, we now I'm going to uh, pull a projection into this my screen canvas. I'm going to say it as a sales order. I add my data source, which is a sales order. So this is the table we uh, created from CDS artifact. Got my. Uh, I wanted to get all my columns to the output, so I'm clicking on the header and say move it. So I got all the columns selected for projection. I'm going to insert another projection here. This is for the customer table. I got uh, my data source, which is customer table. As I finish, get all my fields here, transferring to output. And I, I'm going to start joining these two tables this, right there. I can just connect this one. I can join the customer table also to it. Okay, and <clears throat> I can configure the join properties. So my join is going to be on the customer field. I select the customer and then drop on to customer on the customer table. My join has been made in a, I can configure my join properties here. And I wanted to keep it as one to end relation and it's going to be a left outer join. And then I'll select what are the fields to be in there. I select all my required columns, then move it to the output columns. And my journey has been completed and then I move this to projection. Select all of them and then transfer it to this place. And the semantics, I, I just check everything is, there are new parameters came in in the, and sorry, new properties came uh, in HANA to SP dot like deprecate, which is if you wanted to make this um, uh, view to be deprecated and not used by any other developer, you can say so you can define that. It's um, other. There are some other parameters which we're which we've been seeing it from the previous versions. Not big difference. <clears throat> we're going to see some of them in the future uh, uh, video series. And I'm going to save my calculation view and then deploy it, build it. This build has been started and completed. That's about it. Uh, the, the calculation view has been completed. I'm going to uh, see the data in it just before looking at the data, displaying the data. I need to insert some data into these two tables. That I got a SQL console here. I'm going to drag the customer table in here and then insert uh, data into these two tables by using insert statement. Um, I've got my SQL ready, so I've just uh, going to insert some records into customer master. I got inserted. You'll see the log in the bottom. Also insert some records into the sales order table. I can see the data by 
open data. This is the customer master data table, and this is sales order table. And now I go into the database sorry, development perspective. and choose to display the data on my calculation view. You can see uh, I'm, as, I'm able to join two tables and get the attributes from customer table as well. The name, country, and status are now part of my calculation as a join from the sales order and customer table together. That's about the uh, building simple CDS tables and building a calculation view on top of those tables and displaying the data on them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it.